I rise today in opposition to this Republican proposal because across our country and across my home state of Texas, working families are struggling to make ends meet while big corporations boast record-breaking profits. But unsurprisingly, my colleagues on the other side of the aisle are running to the rescue of those same big corporations and their record-breaking profits. The Republican majority wants to help those corporations be able to deny workers the benefits and the higher wages and the overtime and the health care they deserve. And what's most ironic that I've heard today from the Republicans that are for this bill is they keep saying they want to defend small businesses. But in fact, the Republican proposal today is to allow big corporations to throw a small contractor in between themselves and their employees so that they can keep on underpaying their staff and providing fewer benefits than those workers deserve. I'll give you an example from my district. In my district, my constituents run YouTube Music, which is used by millions of people across the world. YouTube Music, of course, is owned by YouTube and by Google, but they don't get a check from Google. They get a check from a contractor that otherwise wouldn't exist, except for the fact that they are there to essentially pass the check along to workers, but shield Google and YouTube from their responsibilities to their workers. That's why these folks that are helping make Google $60 billion in profits just last year make as little as $19 an hour. And this Republican proposal is to shield enormous corporations like Google from their responsibility to make sure that the workers that create their profits actually get to share in American prosperity. Workers have the right to bargain for fair wages and working conditions with every company that controls their terms and conditions of employment, and that's why we should defend this Biden-era NLRB rule to protect workers' right to bargain. Workers across the United States are saying yes to higher wages, are saying yes to better health care, are saying yes to collective bargaining, and it's time for Congress to catch up. I yield back.